Good luck. Welcome back. We are playing week 149 of the teaching ladder. And this ladder we get to play against a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent. And review the game afterward and hopefully learn something from it. Um, yeah, this game... So I played a game yesterday that did not have the result I wanted. So um, I might be playing a bit ambitiously today. One, because Shogi is fun. And two, um, I don't know. Like, um, it's just unfortunate to lose a game in the opening. And nobody enjoys that. Well, I'm sorry, not in the opening, but just be completely lost from the opening and have that flow through the rest of the game and just reveal how incompetent I am sometimes in general. So it's, I don't know, a stumbling block that I'm working through. Um, so that said, I want to play a unique opening today so we don't get put into the channel that we ended up in yesterday. Um, I mean, yesterday I played an okay opening, but I want games that can be fun um, and challenging. Man, I so want to push this, but common sense will prevail here. Um... All right, so I safeguard this. And this raises a question, um, which I've seen before. It's like how to cover the bishop's head without letting their rook through. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to build a castle, try to get a normal game, and see how it goes. Yesterday, I separated my bishop and my silver, and bad things happened. So today, we're going to keep the... Well, I've already separated them, but... I don't know. I just... Somehow, I think if I just build a castle and attempt to play normally, that good things could result. Okay. Well, fine. If this is the way they want to go, this is the way we're going to go. I'm not going to fight it. Um, so we've both, both built a very strong castle. And turns out you still have to play a game after you build these castles. You don't just get to say, I win, after building a very strong castle. There's still a game to play. Um, does either of us know how to play this game? I don't know. Presumably they've built this before, or I've built it before. Which of us knows this better, I wonder? Um... So I see this pawn might someday be a target. Uh, yeah, they latch onto this immediately. So I potentially might use my silver to hit this. They defend my central pawn advance, which is slightly annoying. Um, but now I could bring the silver out to hit this. And they could bring their silver out to hit my bishop's head. Hmm, how does one play this? Very carefully. Alright, so we're bringing the silver out. Mm -hmm. They aim at my bishop's head. Hmm. There's no reason to move this silver off the center file, so we'll just keep it on the center file as it pursues this. 
They close their bishop's diagonal. Um, hmm. hmm. How does one play this? I don't know. Emotionally, it could be one answer. So, like, I can push and take and then bring my silver up and keep hitting. They've not completed their shape yet. If they were to bring this gold one over, that, I guess, completes the shape. It's not like they're far away. They just haven't done it. And they might have reasons not to complete it. But yeah, this gets sharp. Normally, you drop the rook back. Um, oh, I see. Uh, that's tricky. Hmm. What does one do? Hmm. All right, my bishop's not going to use the center square anyway. So let's um, put pressure on this file next. If the knight comes forward, my bishop can hit the knight. So the bishop, the knight's not coming forward this instant, which gave me time to push this up. Yeah, they've not completed this shape. There's vulnerabilities in this shape. Or defects in the shape, so... Um, I might also do some crazy attacking stuff. I don't know. I'm somewhat split on if their bishop moves forward, do I retreat mine? Interesting. I'm not sure that does much. Um, maybe it does, and I just don't see it. So I'll take the pawn. This was their idea. This is my idea. And this was their next idea, and bringing my bishop up was my next idea. <sighs> Am I trapping my bishop? Hmm. Do I have any patience? <laughs> uh, poo. Uh, it looks like I've been outfoxed by a tactic that wasn't too deep. Um, but yeah, they could push the edge pawn. And I can't lift the bishop safely because then the rook quarters my bishop. And my bishop doesn't have anywhere to go. I thought I had it planned out. I looked at this. I looked... I was wrong. I was wrong. So that's cool. Um, how does one deal with being wrong in Shogi? You suffer until you find a way back into the game? Yeah, that sounds right. Um, not sure how this is going to work out. Yeah, I've got to pull back. I effed up. Let's go all the way back here. I thought I had it planned out. I very obviously do not. Uh huh. And this creates other problems too. So that's cool. Uh huh. All 
All right. Well, now we get to suffer in silence for a bit. Let's see what we can make of this. It's not like I have a chance to attack them very easily here. My best chance is to get some pieces exchanged somehow. But it's not trivial. I drop this here in case there becomes some tactic where my knight can advance with gain a tempo or something stupid like that. Plus I'm concerned that they might try to race me. Um, so if I push this... Yeah, now we're just going to stick with this, right? And the idea is we exchange, and then I'm threatening to take the knight. And, um, yeah, the rook does defend the knight. But I can still make threats. So this kind of makes it hard for their silver to attack directly. They do have a pawn in hand. I don't know what I'm going to do about them having a pawn in hand. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, what I can do is move the gold up and bring my rook to the third file and apply pressure on this file. So their rook is out here, which is exciting, but mine can attack closer to their king. Hmm, I'm not sure how that's going to work, though. But that might have been a better use of time than this edge pawn push. Well, no, this kind of makes it harder for them to bring the silver forward. Okay, that's... confusing. I found a neutral way to describe my opponent's play. Um, okay, I capture... I'll be a simpleton. Um, maybe there's some series of tactics where this bishop takes my lance or something. Maybe I missed something. Oh, I could have brought the knight out to fight this. That would have been complicated, but not that much. They already controlled this square, so my knight fighting for that would not have won that battle. Um, I have to remember, since I've not played this game in a long time, two pawns on the same file would be considered Nifu, which is an illegal move or drop, so... Um, so I've got pawns on every file, so right now I cannot drop a pawn. 
Um, they might be thinking of bringing the silver up to hit this, but I can just push it forward. And yeah, they it does give them forward momentum to like bring the silver forward. I can exchange and then we there's some ways that pieces can continue moving and exchanging. Perhaps pushing the pawn is a waste of time even. Um, yeah, this is what they're going directly for. Um, hmm. Interesting. One? No. I was going to say a detail here is that... Um, Maybe I don't care if I give the lance as long as I can push this and promote and take the gold and promote my rook. But the lance does actually matter quite a bit here, so we can scratch that thought. Um, yeah, it would be super fun to bring the silver up and push this until, like, turns later I end up losing all my pieces. But until then, it would be fun. Is that something I want to chance? I might. Uh, no, they have it too solidly defended. <laughs> Do I just take this pawn then? All right. So if they exchange silvers, I can drop a silver here. Wow. Okay. That's legal. That is a legal move. All right. Enter some fireworks. Um... My bishop's not doing a whole ton this instant. Um, we could revise that. All right, here we go. Yes, they can exchange rook for bishop. No, I'm not alarmed. Maybe I should be. I've got three pieces attacking the center square of this board. My bishop has finally found life. If they drop a pawn to hit my bishop, I can just move it. If they bring the rook back to hit my silver... I don't know. It's complicated. Um, there's too many things to look at. So, as I play this, I'm enjoying a little bit of orange tea. Um, it's got a little hint of sugar in it, so that should help keep me motivated to keep finding moves. I think there was a grandmaster who said, a brain that's not on sugar is not a brain. Whether that was said in jest or otherwise, um, doesn't hurt to have some attention to your well-being as you're playing. So, yeah, if the knight jumps up, the knight's not going very... Well, I can just take it right now, but, like, if they take here, if we exchange some stuff and then the knight jumps... I guess, potentially, they could drop something in my rook's face. It could be bad. I guess I'd not thought that through enough. If they do pawn takes, silver takes... Knight takes, and my knight moves up. Yeah, it's kind of a mess, isn't it? Um, do I want to do silver takes, or do I want to do bishop takes? 
Um, <sighs> if I exchange bishops, they can drop a bishop here, which means I'm kind of guaranteeing that I'll exchange my rook off. If I do silver takes directly, they do knight takes, and they gain a tempo. Which, you know, in general, and probably in that position, is very bad. So, on the other hand, if I do silver takes, I can build an attack quickly. Um, hmm. And them gaining the tempo doesn't mean a whole lot if I gain the tempo right back. Yeah. Let's play this. This looks fun. This looks fun, we say. Um. <sighs> that I did not expect. So I can just directly smack this. Um, I could also push the pawn. Wow, pushing the pawn looks really strong. What's the counter? <sighs> um, I don't see a counter. Um, push the pawn and cuts off their bishop, and then we push the silver up. I guess we both promote is the counter. Um, Oh, so this gold is keeping my rook away from these pieces. So if I just bring the silver up and force it... What I'm trying to get at is there must be a tactic here. There must be at least one, if not multiple tactics, to justify my position. Um... It's not so simple. Hmm. Push gold. Silver exchange. Um. Yeah, pushing the gold back just strengthens their castle. Okay, yeah, let's have some fun. I'm not arguing that tactically this is sound, but it looks interesting. This is what caught my attention the previous turn as well. So, yeah, it's... So they take... I could do pawn takes, or maybe bishop takes? Bishop takes was not the original plan, but might be playable. Um, pawn takes is the original plan, but maybe it's too complicated. Yeah, no, pawn takes is too complicated. We need to do bishop takes if this happens. Hmm, no, I don't know. I'm not sure. If bishop takes, they can take this pawn. And I can promote the bishop here. They take my lance, I take the silver. Uh, it hits the root. No, it doesn't. It's hard to keep track of everything. Yeah, it does hit the rook. 
40 so because of that they might throw in some other intermediate moves Mm-hmm. Yeah, the thing that's too complicated is that they might end up blocking my rook, and then I cry. I don't want that. So, to completely... well... <sighs> it's complicated. Yeah, let's not walk into sad things. Yeah, there are still ways they can block my rook, but I get some sort of activity in that event or eventuality. So, yeah, event is the word I was looking for. Hmm. Hmm. I thought surely they would avoid this situation. Oh, wow. Well, Bishop takes, knight takes? This looks interesting. So if they do silver takes, I can promote the rook and hit this gold. Um, if they exchange rooks directly, I can take another piece in between. Or I could run away. <laughs> oh man, that would be wild. Um, 30 But yeah, knight takes kind of like damages their shelter. <laughs> so, yeah, they might get my knight. But there's going to be some cost to grabbing my knight here. I don't care how you count it, there's definitely going to be some cost. So. 
30秒。Am I doing poorly material wise? 40秒。No? Material's more or less even. Hmm. So I'm going to pursue the king and the knight and pin the silver. Maybe I missed a shot. Probably I missed some tactical shot. That's resourceful. Um, hmm. I see what they're aiming at, or at least one thing they're aiming at. A fork. Um, if you come to a fork in the road, take it. So their dragon is still protecting the silver. It would be bizarre to place a piece to try to protect the silver so to give the dragon a time to take my knight. So I'm just regarding this as I've just collected a knight while they're still trying to set up an attack here. It's not like they're far away, they just it's not fully formed yet. Yeah, so this is this blocks their pawn. Um just why I was not so concerned about this possibility. It's gonna take them another tempo to get the pieces moved to continue this attack. If I were to take, that would be a mistake. If I were to ignore that, that would also be a mistake. Um, but yeah, if I just walk away, how does the attack continue? Last turn, this is what I was looking at. I moved last turn, um, not seeing a way that they could continue here. I 
could have missed something. 30 seconds. Oh, this is loose too. If I could land a knight there, that'd be epic. 40 seconds. Particularly if whatever they were defending this with were pinned. Interesting. 50 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Mm. They might sacrifice their dragon for one of my gold generals. Or they might just play that. Um, against that, I'd have been intending to advance this gold. Even though advancing the gold tends to weaken it. Like... I keep looking, but I'm not seeing a way that that works out for them. Um, I keep looking. I'm still not seeing how that works out for them. It's going to be sad if I lose this somehow, but... Oh well. We're giving our best. What else can we ask? What a complicated position. I keep looking. I'm still not seeing how this could work out for them. I'm just missing something here. I shouldn't move so quickly there. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, I'm moving quickly because I'm a bit anxious. And trying to pretend that I'm confident.
Interesting. Um, Sanjubio Hmm. Uh, I might have missed a more obvious shot here. Just, just drop the pawn on the back row. I didn't think helped, but I'm now seeing there is some wisdom in. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of wisdom in this move. Interesting. Sanjubio. <sighs> wow. Yonjubio. Gojubio. Itch. Ni. Sang. Sanjubio Yonjubio Gojubio Itch Ni 
三四五六。三十秒。It's got to be winning, no matter what the tactic is. Everything simultaneously hanging. One of the threats has got to work. I don't know which one, but、um, something's got to give here. Alternatively, maybe I could have just taken the pawn. But,、uh, I don't know. Oh. Well, that'll show me to think casually.、Um, so they keep threatening this horse takes gold thing. So I'm going to cut off horse takes gold and see where we end up next.三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒30秒40秒Thanks for the game. GG. Yep. So as is tradition with these teaching ladder games, after the completion we get to review them together and learn something from having discussed the game. That was quite the close call there. Um, somehow I found a resource, um, so, um, uh, yeah, somehow in the last moments of that game, I found a resource, yeah, cool, so, yeah, um, I recommend that we start from the beginning, as 81 Dojo recommends it too. Oh, cool. Nice. All right. Sure. Uh, so, um, um, yeah, apparently my opponent would prefer that I conduct the review. Um, Generally, it goes better if the player who might have the most grievances and questions leads off, but um, uh, uh, I don't know. It, this is always something I've been a bit confused about with reviews. Um, um, so yeah we can do it either way uh sure yeah i would like that actually yeah 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 cool yeah usually these reviews go well um both players have many questions and such it really is a mutual activity uh but yeah ah 
Yeah, I've not studied it enough to know exactly the perfect way to play it. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, after the game concludes, we get to review it together. Um, I recommend, as 81 Dojo does, that we start from the beginning, and this gives us a chance to get through the entire game and not just fixate on the end game. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're at the middle game, a move and a silver seem about equal in value, I feel. But in the opening, um, So that's kind of how I feel about it, that, like, yeah, this, um, hmm. yeah, I think he played it right. Yeah, I think he actually outplayed me. Yeah. Yeah. I got all turned about and was not thrilled to have to suffer here. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, um, This is kind of a hot mess. Um, um, so, yeah, if they could find a way to activate their bishop, that'd be great. But I don't really know how you achieve this. Um, yeah, Anaguma is just confusing. Um, so... These things are kind of floating about. Um, 
Yeah. It's it's really hard. I don't really know what the answer is. Um, Uh Yeah. Uh. Oh. Yeah, this is totally normal. Um. Hmm. Um. Hmm. That's interesting. I hadn't thought. I mean, I was trying to think about this. Uh. Possible. Uh. So this here. Some show you. Yeah, so it can be risky for me to push. Um, um, so my pawn isn't assisted uh, by my get this thing in the way. Um, uh, you could just like push this and then bring this over. Um, So yeah. Anyway, so those are some possibilities in that situation. Um uh, <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> yeah. The night jump might be a bit much. Um So, yeah, the advancing of this knight didn't quite work out, so... Um, these are some cool pawn tactics. This got super sharp. Um, I kind of expected them to, like, use this and then this and something like that. Um. 
It was tricky. It's super complicated. <laughs> but I was looking at stuff like that. Um, so I don't really know. The truth is somewhere in this position. I saw a lot of ideas. And at least one of my ideas must have been the right one. Um, I must have had at least one good idea this game. I completely spaced on blocking their rook. Um, yeah. So... I could have a very strong attack, like if I just do something like this and then drop this here. Um, I've got a pretty nice position. Somehow, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I have some... No, there's no cheapo here, surely. It would be nice to have a cheapo. So, yeah, if you're going to play this, um, you need a concrete idea here. Um... Otherwise, it's just not going to work out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, did, is my chat window on top of this chat? No, it's not. Okay, so it's possible for viewers to see things that I'm just typing. But yeah, the, the downside of playing Anaguma's strategy is that um, it's hard to learn from the game afterward. Best method of learning shogi for someone not in Japan. Recently ordered a shogi book, so while you're waiting, look for other resources and suggestions. Um... Interesting. Uh, it depends. Well, I'm assuming you're not um, quite familiar with it already. I do recommend a couple channels uh, you see on my about page on Twitch here. Where, like, I recommend uh, professional Yamaguchi Eriko, um, Eriko Yamaguchi. She teaches things at a more basic level in a way that's pretty awesome. Um, Shogi Harbor's got a number of good lessons. Hmm. Um, another thing is I purchased this book, Which Pieces Do You Need to Checkmate? Which is, re oh, it's a really fundamental book. And it's supplemented well by a website called playshogi.com. Playshogi has a number of tutorials and such that are pretty nice. Even Shogi Wars has a few nice tutorials, and I think Lee Shogi has a few too. Um, I'll try to come back to that in a minute. Um,
Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think defense is possible. Um, so, here... Um, yeah, so worst case, I can defend too, but I probably have some spectacular attack here. Um, I do wonder. Hmm. Yeah, this makes some degree of sense. So I wanted to push this, but yeah. That there. Yeah, this one. Um but yeah, play shogi puzzles are pretty awesome. Um. <laughs> I think I made first. Yeah. Spawn's so good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Hmm. I wonder if I had a more direct way to win this. Yeah, maybe this is actually best. Um, yeah, I like that this hits this guy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of fun, um, this stuff. Um. Worst case, I just, like, start plunking some pieces down on my back rank again. So, yeah, I think this I've got under control at this point. Um, 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 Yeah. 
I guess this here hitting that. Um, that's kind of what led to this situation is that um, they tried to defend the castle, but then I split the castle and um, uh, So yeah, then they needed this. Uh... Yeah. It's funny how one thing leads to another, but that's just kind of how this game works. Um, and yeah, they did build a... <laughs> uh... Uh Yeah. So I was watching out for my king the whole time, but um <laughs> but yeah, um I was forced to attack <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's always tricky, but, um, I'm trying to think what else to say here. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, what can one really say, but, um, there's a lot, a thousand little points to watch out for. Um. They fought well, but I just don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's just, there's a lot of uh, little details. <laughs> uh... So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot for me to learn there. But, um, it's kind of funny that, like, yeah, you can play whatever opening you want, I guess. Um, at an amateur level, you can play whatever you enjoy and learn the best. Um, but yeah, fourth file rook does require patience. And study, and more patience, and more study, and even more patience. It's solid, but boy, you gotta study it and um, play it. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, 
this thing, but, um... Mm. Um... Uh, I just assumed you wouldn't try it. Um, yeah, this is just kind of messy. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Um... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that looks fun. Um... Yeah. Hmm. We can take this guy somehow. Um, don't know if you can do that or not, but, um, so, yeah, um, because they, like, defend stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's quite the fight. Um but, yeah, somehow I found the nervous energy and excitement to make progress and good stuff happen for me this time. Um, so I guess I'm gradually on my way back up, maybe. I don't know. So. Let's see what they think, though, before we sign off or anything like that. Um, yeah, so, like, Obviously, through the game, I was trying to find ways to drop my bishop and hit their castle with the bishop drop while also defending. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I mean, that's the best part of these games. Having a good game and then being able to review it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh... Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes. I don't know. I've tried it before. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so many ideas. Um, Yeah, I somehow blew it in the opening, which is a bit embarrassing. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll 
let's see how they feel about it or what their next feelings or thoughts are here. If it's going to converge or diverge. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. So, yeah, we hit convergence. So now I can, like, give my own brief little recap without overly distracting them. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I effed up in the opening. Um, they did raise a good point that couldn't I just push this? And I just didn't feel like doing it this time. I thought, like, this would be reasonable. I was going to try to calm down a bit. I mean, this kind of begs the question of can I push this, which I was not in a mood to try to answer. I think the answer is maybe, but uh, it's extremely messy. So um, maybe it's playable. Maybe if it is playable, it's almost certainly best. Yeah, and then they defend here, which is great. That's smart. Oh, oh, I forgot. This is a thing, too, where you could just... How's this go? What do they call that again? The silver up, gold up, knight up. I forget where the bishop goes in this structure. Welcome. But yeah, this is a thing. Oh, yes, you missed the game. Um, I forget, though. What do you call this shape? We're Millennium. Yeah, Millennium Castle's playable here. Um, and maybe this is something I need to pl look into playing. Uh, it looks fun. Because it looks way more fun than Anaguma. We both played Anaguma. They pushed, as is quite reasonable in my opinion here. It's hard to say everything perfectly, but... Yeah, this also was well-timed and kind of teed me off because um, I thought I was going to be able to prevent it. And then they prevent my silver from advancing, so they, like, I don't know, hindered all of my aims. And then I flustered their bishop advancement aim. And this is just an extremely hot mess where I think they're slightly better. And then this happened, this gold advance because they were concerned I was pushing on this file, but I think if they just, like I pointed out during post-game analysis, I think this is fine. I think their position's more sound than mine, and I've got an uphill battle to try to figure out how to... Um, hmm. Yeah, how to use my pieces. And I messed up. Um, hmm. Yeah, I played this out of just confusion, and they just clonked me over the head here. And yeah, I survived it, but um, I guess better would have been to play something like this or that, or I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say. I thought their position was better, but maybe if I play the Rook over and Bishop back... And then I don't know where my gold's going to go. Probably over and then this out. Or my bishop's got to activate somewhere. I don't know how, but maybe it's fine. I liked their position. And this is dumb. I should not have done that. Um, yeah. Anyway, they got the better position. And I pushed on the edge like a dummy. Somehow it made them anxious and they pushed here. I forgot to mention this during post-game analysis that, you know, this felt forced or something, and maybe it's okay. This is really tactically sharp stuff. Um, hmm. I don't know, engines will say better than we can what the heck happened here. But they did get their Rook active. Uh, during the game game i no i can't bring this back because that drops a piece i tried to look at this pawn advance it's still over my head this looked more than adequate for reasons i explained 
Um, yeah, this looked great. I was concerned they might drop a bishop or a silver or something to try to hold this together. Uh, but they didn't. This was actually a resourceful move, and I think my response was just as resourceful. And yeah, this looks clever. I don't know. Engines will say far better than we can what actually happened here. They forced me to take there and take there, and then I took the knight, because I was really getting spooked by what was going on here. Um, oh, wait, can I take the silver? Do I live? I didn't think I lived here. Maybe I do live. Huh. If I could take the silver, that makes this all so much easier. Um, hmm. Anyway, I took the knight, um, and then I lived. And all was well. Um, yeah, I, maybe I could have dropped a knight here or something, and maybe that would have been a lot easier. I don't know. Seems like they're going to want this horse to stay attacking that. Um, if they had a lance or something, they could try to deflect my dragon. But anyway, yeah, I guess my position was much better. And eventually I found a mate. Eventually I survived. So I've almost redeemed myself. I've got a lot more practice to do to reach two dawn again. But, you know, if we keep at it, Maybe sometime it'll happen. Who knows? Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.